Listen, my guy. Welcome to the series of How to Start a Successful Business, Episode 1. And I'm also going to do another series of how to market properly, how to win in your marketing, especially in the African setup. So remember what I told you when I was doing the live, that business ideas don't work. If you're someone who's catching us right now, this is what I have to tell you. Business ideas don't work. We don't have a problem of business ideas in the world. We don't have a problem of people thinking about ideas. Everybody's got an idea. Even a madman has got an idea of a business. But I like this quote that I always say by ET, which says, innovation is rewarded, execution is worshipped. We have a problem of people who can execute the ideas. Leaders are rare. Followers are everywhere. That's why even if you go on these social platforms, you know, a person can have a million followers. But those people to have, so followers, it's easy to get followers, but leaders are rare. So the whole idea of a business is, are you the person who can take the business to the next level, no matter what idea you have? And also, do you have a good model for the business? Now, today I'm going to teach you something uh, that's called a value chain. All right, but I'm going to teach you not in the structure of your business, but in creating a good model for your business. So a lot of people, what I've seen in Africa, everybody runs for the retail space why when everybody wants to start a business everybody wants to sell something they want to get something and sell it they want to everybody starts in the retail space and that space is so clouded and everybody is is looking for a way to get into that which is not a problem there is a market in a retail space because you can sell literally anything but there are other things that we're not looking at or that we're never taught as africans which i'm going to tell you today the first thing that we're never taught is the process or, or 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 the circle of a value chain i have a friend this friend is making a lot of money he's in swaziland and he now has got branches in south africa and 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 other countries what this guy does his name is him table he sells scrap scrap metal scrap that's what he does but he does not sell it in africa he sells the scrap in dubai so what this guy does is he understood that I might not be the guy to sell the car because there are guys with the castles, all right, which is a business idea or a business model. There are guys who sell the cars from dealerships. There are guys who break the cars. There are guys who whatever. I'm just the guy who's going to collect the scrap because the scrap that he collects mostly is from vehicles. And I'm the guy who's going to make money from recycling the scrap. So the, the whole money circle starts from material. The person who's making the material first, the person who's building the car, the person who finishes the car and sells it, and the person who recycles the unwanted uh, scrap, and the person who's... So the chain goes. So when you are thinking of a model, don't always think to be on the retail space. Look at where things are starting from and where they are ending in your line of, of industry, on your line of field. For example... This guy, what he does, like what I told you, he collects scrap. When he collects scrap, he puts it in containers. When he puts it in containers, he ships the scrap to Dubai. He makes crazy money from doing that. The guy is a millionaire, one of my multi-millionaire friends, just from doing that. So the, the whole idea is not in the idea, but it's in the model. He created a model that fits somewhere in the value chain of that industry. You know, so, okay, let me, let me. So there are guys who collect the scrap and they give it to him. They are making money. You can also be that guy. All right, you don't know how to ship the scrap to Dubai. You don't have the human resources to do that. You don't have the administration to do that. You don't have the context to do that. But you can be the guy to find the scrap for him. Find the scrap for him, give him the scrap. And then when he gets the scrap, he knows how to sell it. When he's selling it, there is also a guy who's got the containers, who's just running the business of putting this scrap in containers and ships to Dubai. There is a guy with the ships who is just running the business of carrying the containers and taking them to Dubai. When you get to Dubai, there's the guys who are, who are into transport and logistics who are taking the uh, containers from the, from the port to wherever they're supposed to go. So you have to understand that when you're thinking of an idea, don't just think to be in the retail space. Look at where you can fit it right now. Um, as I just as I was just walking out of the house to do this video, there is a guy that we um, in this neighborhood. This guy we pay him to. I think I don't know if you can see some beans out. I don't know if they can show. You see some beans there. 
the outside. So what this guy does is we pay him to clean our beans around this neighborhood. So this guy has got a Toyota Yaris. He has got a small Toyota like this, and he comes with a broom and some cleaning materials, some nice soaps and all that. So what he does is he charges about 200 bucks for every household to clean the bean at least once every week. Is it 100 or 200? Something like that. And he cleans every house. So he just has to stop from this house, goes to the next house, this house goes to the next house. From there, he goes to the next neighborhood. From there, I had a conversation with him. I asked him, my guy, how much do you make roughly per month? He said, I make about 30 to 40,000 in profits after fuel expenses. Because I barely use a lot of fuel because I'm moving from this out. He just washes the beans. As simple as that, those, those dustbins. So when the trucks come and they load the beans, when they throw them out, the guy just comes and washes the beans, goes to the next house, washes the beans, and he starts making money. But everyone's problem is they're running to the retail space. Now, the last point that I want to tell you is, if you're in the retail space, who's the supplier? That's the other part that we never look at. All right, I'm not saying the retail space is bad, but I want to open your eyes to start looking at new opportunities. So whenever people are being are buying something and that they need to sell at retail. They are buying from someone who's the wholesaler. All right, so there's the manufacturer, there is a distributor, there's the wholesaler, there is a retailer. So who's the supplier? Have you ever thought of you being the source to someone's supply? Because I've seen a lot of people, you barely see people who come to me and say, VK, I want to start a business. I want to supply people with this, 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 and that. Let me tell you one good thing about supply. Supply, you just come and dump stock to someone. No need for marketing, no need for whatever. As long as you get your clients, you market when you're starting to get your clients, your clientele. When you get your clientele and you treat them good and you give them good prices, the only thing that you do, you just come with stock and you just dump it to them. As simple as that. Just dump the stock to them. They will have to look at, you know, how they're going to market. They will have to look at how they're going to make people walk into their shop. They'll have to look at how they're going to sell online and all that. Have you ever thought, of being the supplier to some. So always look at what other people don't look at. That's where the money is. So there is money in retail. There are people winning retail, and I'll teach you about that as we go. But today I want you to understand the value chain. Where do you fit in the value chain of business? And don't always think about the end product. Also look at where the product is coming from. Who's going to ship the product? If you see that there is someone who's doing uh, this and that, look at how you can add value to their business. Probably they're struggling with transport, feet on transport and logistics. Probably they're struggling with supply, feet on supply. Probably not only to just think about retail. So I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, it's going to be posting here on the YouTube channel. Please subscribe and make sure you share the channel. Let's subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I love you guys. The least that you can do is to subscribe because I'm going to keep this content coming no matter what. So just subscribe and you give me more energy to give you another video. So right now we are on 10,700 subscribers. I'm going to drop the next video when we have 11,000 subscribers. That's only 300 from now. All right, let's get it. Peace.